boy oh my god dude what the hell Somebody really took me as a body shield. If I happen to have reused some clips from the previous video, I do apologize in advance. To be honest with you, I don't remember at this present time exactly which clips I used in my last video, but what I will say is this. Babylon on Black Ops 6, pure brain rot. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video, and we are back on Call of Duty Black Ops 6. So I'm looking at the bottom right corner and it looks like they've enabled double XP and battle pass XP for the beta. That's interesting. So they've now added gunfight to the multiplayer beta. Okay, I guess I'll check this out. I do admire Treyarch's efforts in putting together a mode like this, but you also can't help but wonder exactly how many people are actually even playing this mode. I don't think I've ever experienced Treyarch's version of Gunfight. The only time I've experienced Gunfight was when I was playing the Modern Warfare games from Infinity Ward, so I am interested in checking out Treyarch's take on the specific mode. Oh, I almost took out that one guy. <laughs> you know, it's interesting that people are still using the Jackal PDW despite the nerf that it got not too long ago. But at the same time, it doesn't surprise me to know that the Jackal is still holding up in certain areas like its damage, for example. I also have noticed that in place of the Jackal PDW, the C9, or as we know it as the MP5, it's pretty much becoming the meta SMG as far as I know. Unreal. All right, so I believe this is the Tanto SMG that I'm using. CIA, yep, it is. Work your frag list. One traitor left. Eliminate them. Time short. Your head down and secure the Your target. Kill team Dude. Your okay, I was gonna say like, is my teammate not doing anything? Ooh, pistols. This is gonna be pretty tricky. Alright. He almost got me, I will admit. He almost got me, but I was able to get him before he could. Ooh, the AK-74. MTC's nearly dry. Get serious, Crimson. One fugitive remains. Terminate with a kill team of one. Of course, man. Of course. Alright, I was gonna say... We pretty much wiped the floor with these guys. See, I'm so used to just playing the other modes in multiplayer that in the case with gunfights, I do have to be aware that, like, I have to 
at least play it safe to ensure that I don't die so quickly. The reason why I said that Babylon on this game is just pure brain rot is because the spawns are pretty fucked. There's just so much chaos happening and it could be very difficult for you to move around, especially since there's always an enemy around the corner ready to kill you. And apparently from what I've heard, I don't know how true this is, but if this is indeed true, it looks like Black Ops 6 might not actually have large maps come launch. If that really is the case, then that is pretty unfortunate considering how for quite a long time a lot of people have developed this small map mentality to where they're just so used to playing on small maps to where they're, they'd rather let their brains rot from just enduring all of the chaos and madness that happens on these types of maps. Oh, oh. Hold on, I'm going off. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, dude! That clip was fucking crazy! Yeah, the spawns on this map are pretty messed up, but the feed potential is... It, it's off the charts. Oh my goodness. No! Oh my god. See, when you're playing on this map in core, you'd be able to hold your own for a good amount of time, but when it comes to hardcore, oh my god, it would just be another case of spawn, die, spawn, die, spawn, die, spawn, die. Jesus, my accuracy was so terrible there. Lag? Lag? Seriously? Are you serious right now? How did I survive that? Oh my god. Another thing that I've noticed when playing Black Ops 6 is how easy it is to wall bang people because the majority of the surfaces that you end up shooting through are pretty much penetrable. Now it could be a case of you using a specific ammo type or you're just using the gun without any sort of type of ammo. But what I have noticed is that it's so easy to shoot people through walls and such that I honestly would not have been surprised if I had people come at me and accuse me of cheating because of such a thing. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed that either, but it's become very easy to shoot people through walls and such, whether you have a specific ammo type or you don't. For those who might not know, Treyarch this time around has tried to make an effort to try to make your bullets count whenever you're shooting. So for example, if you happen to be shooting in an area where it's not going to do that much damage, it's going to be harder for you to get the shot on the enemy that you're trying to take out. Whereas if you were to take out, whereas if you were to shoot an enemy on like the upper chest or the head or anywhere of that matter, not only are you going to be able to do more damage in those areas, but a specific animation will play to where you will able to figure out exactly where you shot the person that led to them dying. Now, yes, that has been the case to some extent with Call of Duty before, but it looks like Treyarch definitely has made an effort to really put a lot of emphasis on that to ensure that the players are able to see exactly where they did the most damage on a specific body part of the enemy that they were taking out. Babylon, man. Pure, pure brain rot. And I can only imagine just how much worse it would be if it was hardcore. So I believe tomorrow is the last day of the open beta for Black Ops 6 and then after that we would have to wait until the end of October next month to be able to finally play this game once again. But I want to know from you guys, what do you make of the new gunfight mode in Black Ops 6? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Or have you never bothered to play the mode enough to even care how it plays? But also, what do you think is the most brain rot map 
that this game will have when it launches or while it's available in the beta let me know in the comments down below i want to know what you guys have to say but with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did you're more than welcome to drop a like on it and if you enjoy this type of content you're more than welcome to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification if you happen to be watching this on my rumble channel you're more than welcome to do the same as clicking that follow button and that bell would be very much appreciated but until then thank you guys so much for watching it's been your boy Discreet, and I'll catch you in the next video.